Okay, Andor, let me uh, show you how to do this. Um, may not be perfect, may not even work for your application, but there's certainly one way that you can use ClickFunnels to upload files. So let's go into our ClickFunnels account. And you're going to see here I got a web address right here. Let's uh, do that over again. Got one right there. You want to go there because that is this page right here, which will give you the instructions on how to set up Dropbox, but I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, but let me let me just show you how it works first. Let's just go here to preview. And what you're going to do is you're going to put in your name, email address, and then we will click on upload images. And what it does is it opens up a new page. Now, there's a way you can do this where it doesn't open up a new page, but I think that would be silly to do it that way um, because you want to take them off here and then what the way I have have a stop it takes them to a thank you page uh <clears throat> excuse me right afterwards which of course you can put whatever you want there just take next page in the funnel so we can go here we want to choose from the computer or we want to choose from dropbox where we want this upload to come from and i'm just going to come over here and grab an image drop it in there so it gave me a, an image. It says I'm signed in as Dan Havy, so I don't have to put in any other information. If I hadn't been signed in, it'll ask me for my first and last name and an email address, and I think that's it. And then you just click on Upload, and it uploads the whole thing. Then it is done, and then you, as the person who set this up, will then get an email like this one here. It says, hi, Dan Havy uploaded two files, as I did this earlier. And you can click here and you can see those two files. So it gives you the name, but it does not give you the email address. And that's the only thing is it asks you for the email address, but it doesn't give you the email address. It only gives you the name. But because we submitted it here in ClickFunnels, we captured the name and the email address here inside of ClickFunnels. And then uh, we can pair those two up later. So here we are inside of our Dropbox. Let me refresh the page. And what you're going to see is, at least for me in this case here, this top part right here shows me what is that file. And let me pull this down a little bit. Uh, shows me what's that file. And here's the image I just uploaded. Of course, you could upload a file. It doesn't have to be just an image. And then this was the folder that I created, uploaded from web test and, um, or it's called web test or something. I don't know. And uh, so here, here are four images that I uploaded into that test file. This being the most recent one. But like I said, all it gives you is the name, not the email address of the person that it came from. So let me show you real quickly what you do here to set this up is you just come in here, you click on files. And okay, file requests over here on the left. And request files. And you can give this a name. And it'll create a folder, or you can change that and put it into an existing folder. And then we'll click on next. I see it just created a folder right here for this. And then it gives you this address, and you can copy that address out. And um, okay, email, email instead. I guess you could just put in somebody's email address here and just send it to them. Uh, but that's not what your guy's going to want. So um, that's it. So then let's go back here and look at the code on this. And I got a bunch of notes here because I tested this a bunch of different ways. And I, I, you know, I built this six months ago or something. But um, what you need on this page is going to be the name and the email input fields. You're going to need a button that submits the page. I tried this, testing it with on submit go to but it doesn't open a new page. We need to open up a new page in order for this to really work properly. And then in here, we got some custom JavaScript HTML code, and we'll come in here. It's just custom JavaScript, jQuery to be exact. And you need this code right there. So just copy it off the screen. And where we grab that URL out of Dropbox, you're gonna put that in right there. And so what this says is when somebody clicks on that submit button on the page. So document on submit CFAR, which is the button 
run this function and the function just opens up a new window is all that does, which then opens up Dropbox. So that is it. I think I showed you everything there. So uh, if you got any questions, let me know.